Yo, what is up guys? Delboy here, aka Blue Collar Sports TV. Hopefully you guys are doing well. If you're new here, smash that like, hit subscribe, all of that good stuff. So this video is a quick preview and prediction for Artur Betabiev versus Callum Smith. This fight goes down on the 13th of January, takes place in Quebec, Canada, and obviously Artur Betabiev is defending his IBF, WBC, WBO, and lineal light heavyweight titles. Now I have to admit, I'm actually quite looking forward to this bout. First and foremost, it's a fight between two punchers, two guys who can switch your lights out with one single shot. Uh, both guys have contrasting styles, which I believe will gel well for a good fight. Uh, and yeah, I think this is a potential banana skin for Artur Betabiev. I make him a favourite like everybody else, I think stylistically, he's got the ability and skills to be a nightmare for Callum Smith. However, elephant in the room, Artur Betabiev is 38 years old. He's picked up several injuries uh, throughout his career. And you never know when the wheels could fall off. And if the wheels fall off, Callum Smith is the worst type of guy to fight, in my opinion. Um, but it's a good fight, it's an interesting fight. And should Betabiev win... Hopefully, we get the Dimitri Birol fight. There's a lot of talk about that fight happening in Saudi Arabia next year. Or well, this year, 2024. So, we shall see. But let's break down the tale of the tape. Artur Betabiev has a perfect record of 19 and 0. 19 of his 19 wins coming by way of knockout. Callum Smith has a record of 29 wins, 1 defeat. 21 of his 29 wins coming by way of knockout. Artur Betabiev is listed as 5 foot 11 and a half with a 73 inch reach, whereas Callum Smith is listed as 6 foot 3 with a 78 inch reach. So Callum Smith is 3.5 inches taller and he's got a 5 inch reach advantage. That is significant. And, you know, if he's to stand the chance of winning this fight, he has to make that work for himself. It's just that simple. Uh, Artur Betabiev is a orthodox fighter, as is Callum Smith. Artur Betabiev is 38 years old, whereas Callum Smith is 33. So, you know, Betabiev is coming towards the end, there's no doubt. Like I said, he's had a lot of injuries. Maybe, just maybe, this is the fight where the wheels fall off. Um, uh, youth is definitely with Callum Smith here, but experience, despite having less fights, uh, Betabiev has more experience. Aside from Canelo, um, Baturbiev's fought much better competition. He had a much better amateur career as well. Fought in more international tournaments. Baturbiev has the experience, but Callum Smith has the advantage of youth. But anyway, let's break down what I believe each guy should do to win this fight. Um, Callum Smith, the underdog. For me, Callum Smith, and I've heard a lot of uh, takes on Callum Smith and what he should do in this fight. I've heard some people say he should try and back Baturbiev up. I don't think that's necessarily a terrible idea, but I think it is early on. I, I think early on in this fight, Callum Smith needs to be very circumspect. Uh, he needs to be trying to manage distance and stay on the outside of Artur Betabiev, primarily boxing behind for jab and using that high guard that Callum Smith tends to use as his main form of defence. He's got the reach here. He's got the height and reach. As I said, five inches in reach on Betabiev. Betabiev's strong point is in the pocket or, or, or at mid-range. And for me, Callum Smith needs to make Betabiev work to get in those areas. He needs to make Betabiev reach in. He, need, he needs to make Betabiev try to lunge in to close that distance. Um, just by taking the half step back, popping the jab, and as Betabiev is crossing that distance to get to mid-range and past mid-range to be inside, this is when Callum needs to be trying to time Baturbiev coming in. Ultimately, I think counterpunching is Callum Smith's best chance in this fight. If he's boxing too passive in this bout, Baturbiev could walk him down. Uh, he needs to be boxing, but he needs to carry the threat of the counter. The left hook could be very effective, which is Callum's best punch. Uh, to catch Baturbiev coming in as he crosses into that mid-range territory. Uh, Callum Smith has very good timing with that shot. He throws it very quick, he throws it correctly, and he throws it with power. Uh, he needs to be looking for the left hook as Baturbiev is coming in. 
Also, uh, the right hand of Callum Smith needs to come in play, uh, come into play in this fight. Uh, he can throw a good long straight right hand, which in my opinion, he doesn't always throw enough. Because as we know, Callum Smith likes to really hold his feet and he tends to throw crooked arm punches, despite being a real tall, rangy guy. Uh, you know, hooks and uppercuts, things like that. I want to see Callum in this bout, like I said, box behind the jab, half step back, fire that straight that straight right hand. Also to the body as well of Baterbiev. Baterbiev primarily, uh, he does like to use a high guard at times. Uh, maybe try and fire that, that straight right hand to the midsection of Baterbiev. Try to target the body of Baterbiev. Try to slow those legs down. Try to slow the pressure down. But do it in a in an educated and responsible manner. Don't lunge in with a straight right. Throw it when comfortable. But, you know, give Baterbiev something to think about other than a jab. And yeah, like I say, uh, look for counters as Baterbiev comes in. Primarily the right hook, but also the um, uh, the, le uh, the right uppercut, the left uppercut, and also the chopping overhand right. Try and time Baterbiev coming in. I think ultimately Callum's best chance in this fight is to be the counter puncher. If that's not working and he can't find his range and he, and he can't find the target, then yeah, maybe in the second half of this bout, we can talk about Callum trying to use his size advantage to try and walk Baterbiev back. You know, Yard at times did it, but rarely. But when he did do it, he had some success. So maybe if things aren't working out for Callum trying to counterpunch, he can then he can then mix it up in the middle rounds and then start to try to push Baterbiev back, try to get on him and 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 fire that left hook, try to try to take the initiative rather than try to counter. Try to lead off with a left hook to body and head. Again, try to use that size to bully Baterbiev and push him back. But Herb don't get me wrong, Baterbiev can box off the back foot. He's got a nice jab off the back foot. He can circle out. He's got good pivots, things like that. But he's nowhere near as effective on the back foot as he is coming forwards or sitting in the pocket. <clears throat> so yeah, uh, pressure is definitely an option for Callum in this fight. But I certainly wouldn't suggest doing it early. I think the worst thing for Callum really in this bout is to go in there and box super passively or on on the flip side to go in there and and uh and sell out early on and and really go for it uh because as we know jo uh, joe smith jr tried that and we saw what happened but Terbiev in the exchanges is actually very good he's got good timing he he can punch between your punches so callum going in there trying to hook off with but uh could actually end up in disaster so don't don't start this fight too passively on the flip side, don't be super reckless. Try to box. Try to try to lure Baterbiev in and, and walk him onto big shots. If that's not working, then yeah, in the second half of this fight, get behind the high guard. Try to get behind the jab. Push Baterbiev back and really start, uh, start to try and bully him. Um, as for Baterbiev, we know uh, what he should do in this fight. We know what he's best at. He's a front foot fighter who closes the distance very quickly and very effectively. Deceptively quick feet, very good pressure. Uh, w one of the reasons he's so good at, at applying pressure is that he can throw punches on the front foot with a technique called shifting. Now, there's people out there who can break down boxing techniques much better than I. Um, but yeah, watch a video on shifting and you'll see that Baterbiev does it very effectively. Um, the main issue for Baterbiev in this fight is the punch and counters of Callum Smith. Callum does have power and he's got a puncher's chance. And the danger zone for Baterbiev is anywhere that's not on the inside. Uh, it's when he's trying to get to the inside. That's when he could be at risk of walking into a shot. So Baterbiev's defense in this fight, I think, will have to be tighter than it was against Anthony Yard. Uh, I, I think he needs a tighter guard in this bout. Um, but especially head movement to try and evade that, that left hook of Callum Smith. Needs to be changing levels, uh, you know, prodding and probing with a jab as he's coming in, uh, going low to the body with a jab, coming over the top with the overhand right as he's walking in. Uh, again, punch on the front foot, but try to change levels with it. Uh, keep a tighter guard, things like that. Uh, and once Baterbiev is up close, that's when he can get his work done. Callum's not a great inside fighter, as we know. John Ryder exposed that. John Ryder, once he was on the inside, was uh, getting lead head control. Um, he was he was creating angles for himself on the inside to work. But Terbiev is very good at that on the inside. Once he's there, he can create he can create angles for himself to punch and to protect himself. 
Also, I know Callum Smith's a bigger guy, but uh, him clinching in this fight could be a bad idea. Uh, Baterbiev is very good when he gets a free hand or uh, a free hand in the clinch. Plus, he's he's just hard to clinch anyway. He's a very strong dude. Um, so yeah, if I'm Baterbiev, I try to make the most of those of those moments when Callum is trying to clinch. He's not punching, so Baterbiev needs to make sure he's got a free hand, even when one of his arms is locked up. If he's got a free hand. Uh, he can still generate a lot of power in those moments. In the clinch, I don't think I've seen anybody hit as hard as Baterbiev in recent years. When he's got one arm locked up, I've never seen any fighter in recent years hit as hard as Baterbiev with his free hand. Um, so yeah, I, I don't think the clinch is necessarily a bad place for Baterbiev in this fight. I think it's a place where he can get work off. He just needs to make sure... You know, he's not giving up those clinches easily. He needs to see those as opportunities to land shots. But ultimately, Baterbiev needs to do what he does. Be very aggressive. All I'm saying is, I think in this fight, he needs to pay attention to defense just a little more. Uh, especially as he's closing the distance. Um, but nevertheless, I think it's a fight that is very risky for Baterbiev. I don't think Callum wins this on points unless he drops Baterbiev multiple times. I don't think he can outwork Baterbiev. I don't think he can outfight Baterbiev on the inside. But he can certainly catch Baterbiev coming in, in my opinion. And Callum seems a lot more fresh at 175. He seems rejuvenated at the weight. And he seems to be punching very hard. I know he's not knocked out high caliber guys at light heavyweight. But the power looks real to me. So, listen... I think it's a fight, it's a don't blink type of fight. I think it's a fight in which could catch fire very early. I think it's a fight that could have a lot of dramatics in it. But for this one, I'm going to go with the favourite, Artur Beterbiev. And I think he'll do it late. I think Callum will take some tenderising. I think he'll take some shots. But I don't, I don't see him uh, seeing the final bell, to be honest. I've got Beterbiev by stoppage in, in the last... Three rounds of this fight, 10, 11, or 12, late stoppage for Baterbiev. Uh, what about you guys, though? Can you see the upset? Or like me, are you going with the favourite? Share your thoughts below. Beanie Guy Delboy. Peace.